I am glad you made it here for our trip to Dollar Tree today. I think Bill wants to come with us too, so why don't we give him a minute to uh, get ready. I think we definitely have converted Bill into a Dollar Tree shopper, <laughs> haven't we? Oh, and if this is your first trip coming to the Dollar Tree with the gang here, my name is Shelby. The channel name is a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. I am happy that you are here to come with us to Dollar Tree, do a little Dollar Tree shopping, scope out everything that is new in the store right now. So we'll wait for Bill to get in the car and then we'll head on over to the Dollar Tree. What do you say? Let's go. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? didn't get these wood bead Easter spring garlands in last year. I am finding them out full force as you see this year. I particularly of course love this one with the little chick but they are all beautiful and you know you can also deconstruct these and use the beads and the little wood charm any way you see fit. And they have some of the nice metal pieces out. Again, use them just as they are or do a little DIY with them. They're really nice on wreaths if you have a porch or a front door that is exposed to the elements. These don't fade. And I love the carrot wreath form. It's actually cute just how it is even. But definitely you could dress it up with a minimum of a pretty springtime bow. Now this is, I guess not a brand new product, but these colors are new. You get four felt sheets in here. It's by Crafters Square. You could make some carrots with that and these shades of blue are gorgeous. I could see using those all through the summer. And look at the purple and pink. Maybe cut out some Easter eggs. And the sequin sheets are always fun. And again, so many different colors. I know that you are very crafty. And I love hearing about all your ideas and your DIYs that you're able to do with the crafty supplies that you find at the Dollar Tree. Now see, here's a package of the wood beads, so you could also make your own wood bead garland. Now I honestly recommend getting your party decor no place else but the Dollar Tree because you can't beat the price. Look at this. This is a package of 12 of the swirl decorations. It is in the theme Dora the Explorer. I mean, that is a fabulous price for $1.25. How fun to do a birthday party in that theme. And I really like this little soccer ball basket. Now again, this is out for Easter, but I have a grand that's really into soccer, so I think I need to get it and put it away for a birthday. And speaking of birthdays, look at this. It's my birthday sash. I don't know, would you be game to walk around in public with that on? And you all know, I bet by now, how much Bill loves gardening. He's the gardener in our family. He really likes the Dollar Tree 
pots. This one, um, he likes that you can remove the bottom tray if you wish. You can snap it on and off for good drainage. I think he pretty much exclusively uses Dollar Tree garden pots. This is a favorite of ours, these triple stackable planters. They have them in three colors, the green, the taupe, and the clay, and they also have them in the smaller size, which is really rather nice. And another favorite is what I call a trolley. It has wheels on the bottom, so if you, for instance, are like us and grow tomato plants in your yard, Bill puts the big pots on these trolleys and that way he can wheel it into the sunny spots in the driveway. Makes it really convenient. All right, I thought this little gnome is cute. Are you guys doing much decorating for St. Patrick's Day? I have a couple of these macrame plant hangers. I've had them now at least going on a year. I really love them, but I'm liking, this is like a heavy cotton material. I like that it's not polyester at all. This really looks nice for $1.25. And they have three colors, the ecru, the white, and then kind of a dark beige. I really like these. A dollar twenty-five. Of course, more gardening products, the little seed starting kits, and the little like the biodegradable pots, the seed starter pots, and you get a pack of ten of those. Now they do come in 10, so just check some of the uh, stacks. Uh, it looks like as people have picked through, have separated them out. So uh, the label does state that you get 10. So if you pick those up, just make sure you grab one that has the full 10 seed starter pots in it. Yeah, like see down here, see how they're packaged. They're more fully together, so you get 10. There you go. That shows you more clearly. I think Bill's gonna grab some of those. This is also another favorite product of Bill's, the plant labels. You get 10 pieces. He uses those in his vegetable garden. Now this makeup product is new to me by Be Pure, essentially ageless, but it is a blur face primer. I don't know, will it blur away our wrinkles? And here is a, another product, Clean Foundation. Clean Beauty Glow Foundation in Nude. That actually looks really nice. And here it is in a more golden color. I definitely find that less is more, especially on my mature skin. Look at this lipstick. I like the packaging is very chunky, so it kind of makes it easy to apply. You have a lot to grip onto. Bold and bright. Clean beauty, classic red. Now look at this little travel size colored pencils. 
that's the classic colors you get eight in a package and i have never seen this i really like this twistable crayons so you just roll them up i they'd always be sharp they wouldn't be breaking the way regular crayons do and this is really cute too look at this little three piece highlighter set Ooh, I love my journals. This one is really catching my eye. It is by Jot. I love the, what I'll call a gingham look, a check. It has the nice elastic that keeps it closed. Ooh, and it's these like faux leather writing booklets inside. You get two of them. This is one of my favorite Jot products. And they have all different cover, like prints, designs. So kind of different styles to choose from for whatever mood strikes you or what your tastes are. And good old pencil pouches. Lots of different designs. These are binder pouches. They're great for organizing things. You don't have to be a school student to use these. If you keep a household manual or coupon binders or organizing your bills. Lots of different uses for products like this. You could keep one in a glove box in your car to keep receipts from things like oil changes, your registration, inspection information, kind of protects it from getting all wrinkled up in the glove box of your car. And easy access. All right, this is a favorite of mine too. This is a fabulous pad. I absolutely love it because look at this each page you can have a date you have a little column for do things like to do list uh, note taking a really nice organizational tool one of my favorites more favorites the jot expandable folders again I don't know are you like me? You get a lot of just, I don't even know what, paper buildup in the house. And this helps you corral it, organize it, keep themed things together, home repairs, car repairs, all those manuals for things maybe you own little instructions sheets that you need to keep together doctor appointments medical records results i don't know seems like we have a lot of paper to organize in our lives so i think products like this really help me keep stuff together so that i know where it is this is name brand this big correction tape this stuff comes in really handy now they also have the liquid one this was back in my early days of school and work i am not so much a fan of that remember did you use that having to blow on it to make it dry and this is kind of cool the transparent sticky notes that's something new I like that and you get a hundred of those and you get three pieces of these self laminating sheets that'd be perfect if you have uh, maybe like your insurance card or something that you want to laminate all these little organizing lists and pads this poster tack I like this also to just hang up lightweight things without damaging your walls of course, more binder pouches, pencil pouches, Beacon Value Multi-Purpose Adhesive Spray. I'm not sure I've seen that. 
You never know what you find tucked in where. I love the stationary aisle at Dollar Tree. This is another one of my favorites because it is a hard cover and it comes with different sizes and styles of sticky notes. It's by Jot. I love all of these grocery lists and you see some have holes in them, which I like because then I hang it on a magnetic hook on my fridge because I do find the notepads that come with the magnet on the back. The weight seems to rip the pads separate from the backing. So I love these list pads, especially as I say the ones with the hole because then I use the heavy duty Dollar Tree hook magnet and I hang it on my fridge. I have lots of Dollar Tree scissors. These are by Westcott, the all-purpose ones. It says they have a five-year warranty on them. But at $1.25, I can have a few pairs and have them in different locations throughout the house. These say they're titanium bonded, again by Westcott. Different length uh, blades on the scissors. And here's some more plastic pouches. I think these would be kind of nice for travel if you're doing any travel or you have a big tote bag with a bunch of stuff in it. And again, you kind of want to organize yourself. I like the see-throughness access. When I had to keep a bag packed for the hospital for Bill's transplant, I used probably four of these in a giant purse to corral all the stuff. Oh, I like the design of this pad too and the hard cover look at the colors of that to-do list this is really fun very cheery new super clear transparent heavy duty Oh, that's good. Extra tough packing tape. And of course, they have the tool bench packing tape also. Lots of different super glue products at Dollar Tree. In the past, I even tried some of the super glue to glue fake nails on. All right, look at these crafter square pliers, but look at how the tip is bent like that. I'm not sure how you use those. Very interesting. If you'd like to see my latest Dollar Tree haul, I will link it here. Bill and I will be back again, I believe, tomorrow, and this time with a brand new vlog to show you what we've been up to. So we hope you'll be back to join us too. And remember, our friends, as always, until next time, please be well.